Mortgage rates are on the rise again today, hitting 5% for the first time in more than a decade. Rising rates and surging home prices are locking millions out of the American dream of owning their own home. In tonight's Eye on America, one company believes it has a possible solution, 3D printed homes. CBS's Nancy Chen gives us an exclusive look. So this is home. Yes, this is home. April Stringfield has always wanted to own a home. But she never imagined this is how it would come together for her and her son. They tell you 3D printed house. Your first thought is, what? <laughs> Literally, what is the 3D home? Yeah. Streetfield's house in Williamsburg, Virginia, is the first owner-occupied 3D printed home from Habitat for Humanity. You can feel it, it's just good detail. The concrete walls of the three-bedroom house were constructed in less than 30 hours by Iowa-based company Alquest 3D. A machine like this could revolutionize affordable housing. Oh yes, this is that that is the goal. Company founder and CEO Zachary Manheimer says 3D printing cuts costs up to 15 percent by scaling back labor, materials, and time. Prices for the home start at $175,000. While there are concerns about displacing traditional construction jobs and some environmental impacts of this method, Mannheimer believes his technology has potential. People cannot afford a home. That is the American dream, or rather was the American dream. We need to get back to that. 3D printing technology is one way to do that. The company aims to build 200 3D printed homes over the next three years, primarily in southwest Virginia, breaking ground in what is now an empty field. Alquest's goal in creating what would be the world's largest 3D printed community is also to potentially revitalize the town and others like it in rural America. There's nowhere in the U.S. where someone working full time at minimum wage can even afford to rent a two bedroom apartment, let alone buy a brand new home. Mannheimer says the company is partnering with local and state governments to fix that. These towns were once vibrant. And these towns can wave their hands in the air and say, hey, our community is great. We want you to come here. But if you don't have a home, none of that matters. So this is my room. For Stringfield, laying the foundation of her home was the accomplishment of a lifetime. I cry sometimes, uh, but I'm just ha so happy that I finally have a place to call my own. For Eye on America, Nancy Chen, Pulaski, Virginia.